So, this pre-practice test was just a way to give you some extra practice uh, for some of this stuff. And some people got really confused just on the first four problems, and that's okay. All right. Now, remember, this is what we're going to be plugging stuff into. And yes, it's always going to have parentheses and squared because it's quadratic. All right, so basically you could do this to every single one of them right now. Okay, good. Got one person that has all four of that part right. Now, FX is fine. It's the same thing. Now, uh, stretched. This is our A. So three would go here. Okay. It says shifted to the shifted two to the right. This means we actually have a minus two in here because things are backwards and confusing and people don't like us. Okay. And then up one is a plus one. Okay. I think number one, a lot of people may got may have gotten a lot of that right, and then they went on to the next one and they got really confused. Okay. So compressed. 0 0.5. That's all you had to do. You just put 0 0.5 where the A goes. All right. Left 7. So this means minus 7. So when I plug it in, it's a plus. Yes, I know. Confusing. Yeah, you could write one half if you wanted to. I just took for me to write a fraction in Word, it I had to do multiple steps. So I just wanted, like, I'm just going to tell you all your compressions on. The at-home practice test, the uh, in-class test, the at-home test, they're all decimals. Okay? And then up four is like this. All right. This is where we lost a lot of people. Reflected about the x-axis. That's just a minus. That's, that's the only thing. This whole thing right here is just a minus. You put a negative in front of whatever happens next. Okay? Then stretch two. left four so it's the this means we plug in a negative four so we have a plus again super con that looks like a nine and then down nine okay now on number four does number four have an a value no, so we don't have to put anything. This is right three. So this is the opposite. I know. Weird. Then up to this. Believe it or not, this kind of stuff is like the opposite of what y'all had to do on the first test. Where I gave you an equation and you had to describe the transformations now I'm telling you the transformations and you give me the equation, okay? This was not meant to be super hard to begin with. Some people kind of try to either A, overthink it or underthink it or not think. I don't know. Somewhere in between, people got lost on that part right there, okay? So now that you've seen these four problems, y'all feel a little bit better about it? A little bit. Great. I, I can't make it. If I want to make everybody happy, I'd, I'd just serve ice cream, okay? I'm in the wrong business. I would love some ice cream right now. All right. So, all right. This is the other part that, you know, we have to deal with. This is stuff we've been doing for a while. All right. So, before we get into this, let's get into how many points these are worth, Okay. These are worth two points, okay, each. This whole thing is worth five points. That means each little block is worth a half a point, okay? Just in case you mess up somewhere, it doesn't totally sink your grade, okay? And this is four points because sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on right there. I'm trying to give you room for partial credit as possible. All right. 
So on this one, our A, our H, and our K. All right, our A is negative one. Our H is positive two. Why does that? You said negative one and wrote a two. I said negative one and wrote a negative two. Yes. Our A is negative two. Our H is positive two, and our K is negative two. It's like Monday, the second part. Okay. <laughs> you know, who knows when the bells are going to ring? We're just flowing around like hippies. Okay. So, I would honestly do this, and we've done this in class. I would go ahead and put my H here. I put my K here. I would get those out of the way, all right? Because that's the way I was thinking. Just kind of like when we saw the modeling problems yesterday, I had it, what, what's your H, what's your K, what's your A? So, we're kind of following in that order. Why is my X positive? Because remember, it's the opposite of what's in there. Yeah. See, those. that's one of those little things. If you forget, you know, that way it won't be as much points off. All right. So. Now, this has, we have a reflect, and you could can't spell. Reflect, and y'all could say x-axis or not. I know what you're talking about now. Uh, it has a stretch of two. It has a right two and a down two. Okay. Now, now we get the fill in after we get this written down, and I'll give you time to do so if you hadn't already. Now we get to fill in the X values, okay? So, on the number line, if this is two, this should go across like this, okay? Zero, one, two, three, four, just like it should show up on a number line, all right? And yes, the order on this does matter. All right. One A, that's these two, okay? Well, this means this is one times negative two, which is what? Negative two, awesome. So I'm gonna add negative two to this. So negative two plus negative two or negative two minus two should give us? Negative four. If you accidentally said negative 2 minus negative 2, that would have given you 0. Okay? If you accidentally multiplied negative 2 times negative 2, that would have given you 4. Notice that's why these are only worth one half point each for each of these little spots. That way, if you mess up a little bit, it won't sink you. Okay? Exactly. Now, this is 3A. So we get negative six. So I have to say negative four plus negative six, or you can say negative four minus six. It's the same thing. We should get negative 10. Okay. Now that's just applying the rules we learned last week. Even if you didn't get them last week, hopefully you're getting them now. Okay. Need those to sink in. All right. Mr. Dudley, yes. If it's a two, then why are you it by a because it's the negative tells us that it's reflected, that it opens what? down. Okay, so that means the negative is reflected. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because our a value is negative. Remember, if the if a is negative, it ref, it's reflected. And then if the absolute value of A is greater than 1, that's a stretch. 
Okay. All right. Are we good with this one? We need more time. I see a couple more people writing. Okay. All right. So, now let's look at this one. All right. My A is three. My H, what is my H value? Negative one, because it's the opposite. Okay. And what's my K value? Four. So with those three things, I can actually enter, get a lot of stuff done. This is X equals negative one. This is negative one, four. Okay. Now, this one doesn't have as much as the last one, okay? We have a stretch of three. We have, yeah, left one because it's negative and then up four. Yeah. I had a lot of the students in the last class, they were taking their tests and they thought they had something wrong, but they actually got it right the first time and they had erased it. It's crazy. All right, so I'll let people catch up with that. By the way, on some of the modeling problems uh, for either uh, the second practice test that you're going to get today or something else, uh, that um, I got kind of, well, I try to get creative with them. And um, y'all will see some of them. Uh, hopefully, you'll laugh. Uh, during when I had analytical mathematics, a lot of their problems on their tests had Office references. Has anybody ever watched The Office? Okay. All right. So now we're ready to fill in. All right. Now. 1A. This is 1 times 3, which is 3. All right. So what is 4 plus 3? 7. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Who said 34? <laughs> There's a couple people. They might not have all been stung by bees today, though. All right. So, now for 3a, 3 times 3, we get 9. <laughs> Remember, the use of calculators is highly encouraged, even if it's for simple addition, subtraction, multiplication. Okay, I'm glad it's, that's kind of like a while ago when I said negative 1 and wrote a negative, yeah, okay. All right. So, what is 7 plus 9? Yay! <laughs> yeah, I can keep it up for one second. Yeah. All right, apparently the bells have been corrected now. And so we'll see how it goes. So, so do we go from here to third? Yep. Y'all go from here to third. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? You go to third block, you go to lunch during third block. Do you have fourth block? No, I have Oh, you leave. <laughs> just get it just get a to-go box or something i don't know all right so
So let's look at this one. All right. <clears throat> I cannot promise that all of this right here is set up correctly on the practice, all the practice test. I'll double check on the actual test. Uh, Jackson, please control your sphere. Okay. Now, A is 1, B is 4, C is 3. Notice, this is not graded right here. That's just for you. Okay, this is just for you. Now, we get to plug stuff in. All right. So we can actually write this here and this here. Okay. Now, I have to take this negative two and plug it in like that and use my calculator. And I will actually get negative one. All right. So, you know, there's possibly a way that I can make y'all go from standard to vertex, but I don't want to teach that. Yeah, I don't think that's that's probably that's probably best. Um, so. Our other values, so there should be negative 1 and 0, negative 3, and negative 4. All right. Now, we're still using the A. I don't know why you're looking at me. I don't... I, all I know is I've gotten three emails from teachers down the hall asking my students to quit opening up plastic bags. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> All right. So, now, 1A is 1 times 1, which is 1. All right. What is negative 1 plus 1? Zero. Okay. This is 3A. Okay, if you have nothing and then you're given three, what do you have? Okay, so I'm hope, hopefully as we go through this, it's alleviating some questions from yesterday. Uh, you know, this is. If you look at your practice test, both this one you got, the purple one and the blue one you're about to get, they're set up a lot like the homework stuff that are the notes that we did in class. Well, we didn't really have homework because I didn't really make do that. So, all right. All right. Are we good here? Yeah. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Catch on fire. Already there. All right. So, number eight, what is A? What is B? Negative eight. All right. So, believe it or not, I tried not to get very difficult with your uh, questions. Okay. I didn't try to do like super big numbers. All right. And again, this isn't graded. All right. So. I don't know what just happened. Oh, it's fine. 
So we get 6 over negative 2, which is negative 3. All right. So I tried to make this as foolproof as possible, but I probably screwed up somewhere along the lines because, you know, I'm, I am a human. Um, and it's me. It, trust me. I could probably be teaching the same thing for 18 years straight and I will still have a handout that will have something not exactly correct. Okay. All right. So I'm plugging in negative three right here. Okay. What did we get for our y value? Zero. Okay, so we got zero. All right, so as it goes, if all we have is what's correct right here, we at least get um, five of the 16 or five of the 11 points. Okay. All right. So, right here. One, eight. Okay, I'm going to write it up here because I got more room. I get negative one. What is zero minus one or zero plus negative one? Negative one. Awesome. This is 3a. All right. So negative one minus three or add negative three, however you need to say it, is negative four. Da -da -da. Cha -da -cha 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 -cha. All right. So. <laughs> All right. Ta -da. Yeah. Remember, if it's negative, it's like a frowny face, so you're going down each time. All right. Yeah. Some people may need to write this down. All right. So A acts like a slope from one Y value to the next. Okay, so that's, if you think about it, if I'm at zero and I got to go over one, down one, that's where we get that next Y value, okay? And then it uses the same thing. I go over one, down three. That's how I get to negative four. All right. Shaylin, I think I just totally confused you by writing that. Okay, then erase that part in your memory. All right. Now, no matter where you got to on the sheet, are we feeling a little bit, you know, not, remember, I can't make everybody happy, but hopefully feeling a little bit more confident, a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, like, I put three on the bottom and zero on top. All right. That's all I do. Okay. I do for all of them. Sometimes if I'll notice that, I, I may, like, say, I may, like, ha-ha. Sometimes I write a note, and like, welcome to humanity, <laughs> uh, you know. All right. Write a function rule. Now, because Mr. Jeffries is weird, and I totally forgot 
to uh, take this out. I did fix it on all the other ones. Uh, you shouldn't have two equals two places for the equation, okay? Now, do we really care what's happening right here? Do we really care about who this is and what they're doing? No, we really don't. Good job for Lexi Thompson, okay? Now, we need to see where the Y values start repeating. Right here. That means, remember, this is like our sandwich. These are where they repeat. So my H value is here. My K value is here. All right. Now, this is the part that a lot of people had a hard time with yesterday. If I'm at 144, how do I go from 128? Um, okay. Okay. So my A is actually negative 16. Hey, I'll tell you something on these quadratics, these modeling things. If something is thrown, punted, kicked, launched, the A's are always going to be negative because they have to go up and they have to come back down. Okay. So this one should go like this. All right. So that's what we have from this. Now, the good thing about the video lesson, if you're ever having to go back and look at it, you can always pause the video lesson as you're writing the stuff down. Okay. I don't do very good with the pause button anyways. Okay. Because I, I don't pause that much. All right. Now, do y'all remember the super confusing one we had the other day where it didn't repeat to the very, very end and we had a lot of people get lost? Good. I put a lot of those on the test. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. I didn't put a lot of the confusing ones on the test. All right. So, 10 and 11. Okay. On number 10, this is our vertex. Okay, the origin is here. It looks like I went over 3, up 2. So if that point is 3, 2, our H is 3, our K is 2. Now, because A works as a slope, how did I go from here to this point? I went up 2. So my A is 2. All right. Number 11. My 13s are where they repeat. That means this is H. That means this is K. Now, this one is actually a lot easier to see visually because you're like, oh, I was on the 16th floor and then I went down to the 13th floor. Well, how do you go from 16 to 13? Yeah, A equals negative 3. Is that how it's going to be on the test? Pretty much. No, like which format? That's, you're going to have one like this. All right. And I think I actually shortened the test where it didn't have as many problems as it did the practice test. I think you have less of these modeling problems. You have the same on the front, but less on the back. Does that seem okay? Yeah. So good with 10, 11. Do you have access to your school email? I'm going to send out the completed notes and stuff later. Okay. All right. 
I may even put it on Schoology and then just uh, email it out to the people that can't get there. All right. I bought a rocket. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's look. Where are the ends of our sandwich? Where are our A, where's the 1A values? Yeah, some people are telling me my H and K already. There's my H, there's my K. Now, how do I go from 400 to 384? Yeah, and remember, anything that's launched, it's going to have a negative. So my A is negative 16. All right, so all right. The people at home are missing a lot of other funny things that are happening in class. I'm very sad. All right. So, not bad on number 12. All right. Is this our last one? That's our last one. Yes. Lucky number 13. All right. So, that's our vertex. Looks like I went over one, two, three. And I went, okay, thank you. I hope that's right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. So that's my H. That's my K. Now, I'm right here. I'm here. This is five. How do I go from six to five? Yeah, negative one. Now, a couple of ways you could write this. You could write it like this, or you could write it like this. Either way, I'm fine with it. Other teachers may not like it, but I don't care. I'm not other teachers. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Good things. Roll time.